Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Anne Sparkplug, my co-host, and we are coming back for our playthrough with The Sims. Sparkplug probably won't be out for very long, but he wanted to come on and say hi to everyone. So with that being said, let's get to it. We have a redesigned house now, and I have forgotten so far to give Pixel a bath. We finally have a bathtub, and Pixel has decided the best place to sleep is the sofa, which means the sofa is going to smell like the trash Pixel rolled in. It's a good thing we have a bathtub because I would not want my dog that rolled in the trash to be sleeping on the couch. That's going to be an impossible smell to get off the couch, just in general. Sparkplug is up and running around here. Hi, buddy. <laughs> he likes to come out and do video recordings with me when he's actually awake, and he was awake this time. So that's always a fun excursion that he gets to go on. Once Pixel is done with the bath, my sim is tense because she hasn't had any fun. And in the middle of me redesigning this entire house, I forgot to give her books. I got a computer and I got a TV and now she has no books to read. So yeah, I always seem to forget something. Also, because I had this big plan for this house, I ran out of money. And so she has nothing on the walls, no art, no paint no flooring, nothing. So she's probably going to eventually get uh, uncomfortable because she has nothing to look at on the walls. But in general, it's, it's going okay. <laughs> We're going to have her play on the computer for a little bit to try to get her to be more chill. But she also has to do her work. So, and she starts working about an hour. She got really tense at one point because she couldn't research intelligence. And being an overachiever, she really wanted to have all the work stuff done. So that's something I have to keep in mind when playing this sim is that she actually does have to do the daily tasks or she gets tense at work and then she won't get the raises that she really needs because, again, she has... 11 simoleons now so maybe enough to eat something but not not a ton so we're going to try to fix that by getting her raises pixel it has been a really good dog though like she will go out and use the bathroom on her own i'm still really want to get a fenced in yard for her just so i don't have to worry about her wandering off or running away I don't think she would, but it's a high possibility that she will run away. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I always worry about my pets running away if they can go outside. And my other sims have a cat, so I can just lock the door to keep the cat in the house. But with a dog, the dog actually has to go outside to use the bathroom. So it's a whole different experience having a pet dog versus a pet cat with the sims pets. I am having her have just a quick meal because like I said, if before, every time my Sims try to cook anything, they start a fire. So I'm still weary of having her do any kind of cooking in her house, mainly because she has no money and I really don't want to have to replace a stove. They are expensive and normally if the stove catches on fire, spark plug almost jumped off my hand there. <laughs> Normally the stove catches on fire, everything else catches on fire, and then I have to worry about my sim catching on fire. It's a whole issue because sometimes they catch on fire and then they won't put themselves out and that just means doom for the entire game. I've had that happen with a few of my sims in a family, actually my family of 12. I had to go back to a previous save because one of my sims caught on fire and ended up not making it through that whole ordeal. And I didn't want that to happen to my poor Sim, so I went back and fixed that situation. She never cleans up after herself. She just leaves food on the table. I always have to clean the food up for her. I don't have a trash can in her kitchen. I should probably think about investing in a trash can. That's probably why she doesn't clean up after herself. 
She has no trash can. She's watching her little penguin TV. Now, her penguin TV is super cheap and doesn't give much happiness, but it's an adorable TV. I wish she could have like a huge penguin TV. That would be funny. A <laughs> secret agent watching the TV that looks like a penguin. Her dog was barking because I totally forgot to put food in her dish. Oh, okay, yep. Yep, yep. I totally thought I had already given the dog food, but I had 11 simoleons, so yeah, I didn't do that. She needs to, like, chill out from work. She's really tense because she didn't get her work stuff done. Like I said, from being an overachiever, she has to do her daily tasks, which is sometimes really hard for me to remember, especially when, like, most of her needs are way down at the bottom and trying to get those to get caught up and get the work tasks done before she works is sometimes really hard to balance. But video gaming seems to give her happiness to get raised, so we're going to stick with that and hope for the best. It looks like she's starting to get hungry also. I think she still has a ham and cheese sandwich unless that's gone bad, which is a high possibility that it has. It's been in quite a while. So this is sped up just to get her through her video gaming situation. <laughs> oh, good. Sparkplug wanted to go back into his terrarium, so he's no longer with me right now. But I did want to ask you all a question. What's your favorite way to get your Sims happiness raised? Mine is having my Sim play video games because then they can enter novice tournaments and make extra money that way. What's your favorite way? Leave it in the comments below and I would love to hear about it. Looks like she is no longer stressed from a hard day of work because she's been playing video games so her happiness is going up. But she's still stressed from work because she didn't get her work stuff done on time. We need to really work hard on keeping her happy at work so that she can get those raises so we can get to 500,000 simoleons and finish the villain branch. It'll be an interesting branch. I'm curious what will happen. It looks like she is also getting really hungry, so we'll have to probably get her a quick meal at some point. And of course, she's uncomfortable because her walls are blank. Maybe, maybe she wants to just have plain walls and nothing on them. Some people do, and that's okay, but apparently... She wants a pretty picture. Oh, she's going to cook something. We don't want this. This is this is no no thank you. That does not look like a good idea. Oh, yep. Yep, that was a that was a poor decision on your part, Stella. You now have set the stove on fire. Oh, goodness. Okay. We need to extinguish the fire before we need to extinguish you for catching on fire. This is why we eat ham sandwiches. Ham sandwiches don't catch on fire. At least she didn't catch on fire, so that's a that's a plus. Yeah, yeah, I would have to use the bathroom too if I almost burnt my house down. Yeah, that's understandable. You should really eat something though, and we're going to make we're not going to cook, but we are going to cook. <laughs> but we're not going to use the stove. We're going to make a garden salad because she can't catch the garden salad on fire unless she's super talented and, like, uses a flamethrower to make a garden salad, which I don't know why you would. But I wouldn't put it past Stella at this point for the poor choices she makes. And of course, she didn't clean up. I really need to get her a trash can, honestly. I'm tired of cleaning up after her. And see, see, Pixel just wanders out the door and off on her own. And we have a busy street by us. I really need to get that fenced-in yard, too. This is why Stella needs to get some raises. We're going to be, like, racing against the time to get her to use the bathroom on time before she has an accident. But, again, this, this was her own choice. <laughs> Not really, but it is. She needs to get food made, and she set the stove on fire. She would have been eating by now if she hadn't almost tried to put her house up in flames. So that that was our, her problem, not, not a me navigating her through life problem. <laughs> so she has her garden salad done now. 
she'll just have to put that down and rush to the bathroom because she has like 23 seconds to get into the bathroom. So we'll see. We'll see if we make it. Sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. I like living on the edge with my Sims at times, as you can see, because I let them cook, which I know is always a poor decision when they are new to cooking. At least she knew how to put out the fire and didn't just like throw water on a grease fire. That would have been bad. That would be a funny thing for the Sims though, to have like the type of fire and then the choice. And if you throw water on a grease fire, your house just goes up in flames. It would be a good learning opportunity for people about how to put out different types of fire. That would be, that would be funny. So she's going to now eat her food that she made her nice garden salad. Hopefully she, she likes the food. She's not a great cook, so most likely she's not, but oh, she's going to get mad about something. That's lovely. Oh, look, she's confident. She's confident about putting out the fire that she started. She started the fire and now she's confident about it. All oh, that did not last long. She's back to being uncomfortable about the her living situation and she is apparently really tired. So we're going to put her to bed so that she can get a good night's sleep and we're going to see how things and roll uh how things go tomorrow when she wakes up. Hopefully we can get her work status up so she can get a raise. We also need to get her apparently a kitchen sink because she's washing her dishes in the bathroom and that is highly unsanitary. So we, we really need to get that fixed also. There's so many things I need to fix in this house. I just have to like put it in priority order, I guess. What's the highest priority to the lowest priority? So we're going to put her to bed now. Thank you all again for following me with Stella's life. She has set her house on fire, which is to be expected with my track with the Sims. And she is highly uncomfortable with the design I have done with her house. If you want to see more about Stella's life, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to see other Sim content, please leave a comment below. I hope you all have a wonderful week.